Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Carlos, and today I want to talk about three things we can do in a crypto bear market. That's a downward moving market. And if you don't believe we're in that right now, take a look at these stats. Compared to one month ago, the price of Bitcoin has dropped 15%. And compared to six months ago, almost 50% drop in price. So we're definitely in a downward moving market right now. The question is, what can we do about it? In this video, we're going to talk about that. And I'll give you a new blockchain tech to take a look at. So that'll be pretty fun. Today's sponsor is America's Card Room, the poker site that lets you deposit and withdraw with over 60 different crypto cryptocurrencies. When you make that first deposit using the bonus code Kronos, you'll score up to $50 in free cash. Deposit with your favorite cryptos at America's Card Room. So the first thing we can do during a crypto bear market is learn a new technology. There's a really cool blockchain tech I'm personally interested in. It's called Mimblewimble, which if you haven't heard of it, it probably sounds pretty crazy. It's a technology where the transactions can actually be merged automatically into each other. So if there's 100 people paying others, then those can all be mushed together so you can't tell which 100 is paying which 100. So it has great privacy and the transactions stay small so it has great scalability as well. Now Mimblewimble doesn't exist, it's just a description of the technology. The blockchain that's working to implement this is called Grin and Grin doesn't exist either, it's under development so you can't actually buy these tokens. You can read about it, you can participate in the development, you can donate toward its support but there's nowhere to invest. So that's actually a good way to say I'm not here to make money, I'm here to improve myself and learn. So that's a great way to use your time. Go learn about Grin, I would highly recommend it. it's very cool technology. Another thing we can do during a crypto bear market is cut our losses. I'm sure there's a few random altcoins you guys own that, yeah, they're probably down 90, 95% with not a lot of hopes of going back up. I've collected a couple of trading quotes to share with you guys. Trading crypto and trading stocks are very similar. And these quotes are from very successful stock traders and hedge fund managers. Take a look at this. The elements of good trading are cutting losses, cutting losses, and cutting losses. If you can follow these three rules, you may have a chance. Ed is emphasizing that people really underemphasize cutting losses, which is selling something that's going down in value. Because it's hard to do that. I, if I'm losing money, I want to wait till it goes back up so I can sell as a winner. But that's not always the best trading strategy. The next quote is, learn to take losses. The most important thing in making money is not letting your losses get out of hand. That's really counterintuitive to the way most of us amateurs think about trading. We think about how to make money. But experts and professionals think about how not to lose money when they're making their trades. And this third quote is something I really like because it gives you an application to the rule. It says, every day I assume every position I have is wrong. And a position is a trading position, like owning an asset or shorting an asset. So imagine if you woke up and you said, okay, I own this much Bitcoin. Maybe that's not a good idea. You're questioning that every day. It makes it easy to say, should I really own this? So here's my rule of thumb. If you wouldn't buy it today, you shouldn't own it. Let that sink in. Take that random altcoin you own that's down a lot. If you wouldn't buy that today, you shouldn't own it. Now, every now and then there's some other implication, like there's some capital gains implication to selling it right now. But generally speaking, if you wouldn't buy it, it's probably not worth the money and so you should sell it instead. So use that rule of thumb when you're considering the cryptocurrencies that you own and whether you should keep them or not. The third thing you can do during a crypto bear market is pick up a new hobby because come on, the world is bigger than crypto. One of the things I've done recently is I've picked up ping pong. I've joined a club, I've gone to a couple of tournaments and it's really satisfying to me because I love competition. But that's my new hobby. If you have something you've been wishing you could get into, maybe running, this is a great time to do it because there's more to life than crypto. So get out there and have some fun. But first, hit the subscribe button below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.